Our 715 second date update brought to you by Sprite Zero. I'm kidding. Uh, we just had it between Christina and Will. Uh, Will is very financially responsible, but maybe does not have the best timing. Yeah, I mean, there were so many other options he could have come up with, and the one he chose, well, it wasn't working. Christina was not having it. Here it is. Trying to help out Will this morning in the 715 second date update. Kevin, first impressions. Yeah, he said that she checked all the boxes and they went to dinner at Noble Crust and he was said it wasn't just pretty. She had the brains and had everything else. And you asked, Did something on the date happen? And he's like, no, I don't think so. Yeah. So, uh, and, and Lana asked, do you feel like she was engaged in you and interested in you? He mm-hmm. said, yeah, yeah, I thought the conversation went well. Yep. yep. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to call Christina and see if we can get her on the phone. Hello? Hi, this is Christina. Yes, who's this? Hey, Christina. This is JR, Lana, and Kevin. We're over here at 99.5 QIK. Good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, I know this is a strange phone call to get uh, to start your morning. Uh, we wanted to see if we could talk to you, though, for a second. This is going to sound like a lot, but I promise you uh, it's not that big a deal. We want to talk to you on the air um, about a date you recently went on. Would that be cool if we just asked you a couple questions for a few minutes? Uh, I, I guess so. Okay. Um, so we're doing something called a 715, a second date update. We talk to people about dates they go on. There's a date we wanted to ask you about. Uh, there's this guy, Will, who reached out to us. Here's what we know about you and Will. I guess you guys were set up by some mutual friends. I hear you laughing, I think. Um, and uh, we went to, uh, you guys went to Noble Crust. He said you checked all the boxes. He thought you were fun, funny, smart. All okay. of the above, and really enjoyed being around you. He's gone over this date in his head. He cannot think of anything that went wrong. He felt like you were very interested as well. And now he's kind of like, uh-huh. what happened? I can't get a hold of her since the date. So we are going to ask you, what's the deal? That's, that's even more um, concerning to me that he has no idea. Um, he For me, he just checked the finances. So Check the finances? Um yeah, so basically I felt like I was on a date with my father before, like, he, so when we sat down, like, everything was fine, he seemed great, he seemed normal, and then he was like, you know, what are you going to order? And I was, like, you know, thinking about it, and I, I don't even remember what I ordered, and um, he started writing it down, like, the price, and then he wrote down what he was going to order, so he was, like, adding up, like, how much it was going to be. <laughs> And Wait, then he was like, oh, like, are you going to get an appetizer? I was like, well, I guess now I'm not in my head. You know, I'm like thinking, like, should I just order water and breathe? Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it was so bizarre and uncomfortable. And it's like if he's budgeting or anything, like, you know, I don't know what his financial situation is. But, like, we honestly could have just, like, met for coffee and that would have been fine. Now, did you guys agree to split the bill or anything, or did he ask? Did he I, I was he adamant about to, paying? I offered to pay, which I mean, I kind of think is ridiculous, but I would have been more than happy to pay to not feel like I like owed him something. You know what I mean? Like right. I've just never, I've never seen that before, and it was just like really uncomfortable, and I think completely unnecessary. It's I, I, I don't know. All right, I just want to make sure I have this clear before you guys even order food. He's asking you, hey, what do you think about getting? And then when he asks you that, he's then looking at the prices on the menu and writing it down. This is all before you order or before a check comes yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. Wow. I have never heard of anybody doing that. No. So they, did you go and order the most expensive I, thing on the menu then? <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I know. I thought he was just asking, like, making conversation. Like, you know, what kind of food do you like or yeah. whatever. You know, it was just. Okay, well, listen, uh, this is very interesting. Like I said, I've never heard this before. We actually have Will on the phone. I really want to know what he was thinking when it came to this. Uh, Will? Yeah, hi. Does that sound accurate? Is that what you were doing? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a, I guess, accurate about me jotting down some notes. I mean, I, I, like, I do like to keep a budget. I was. I like to keep track of my money. But I, I don't see what, what the problem is there. I don't, think, I don't see why that wouldn't be kind of an attractive quality, right? I mean, I'm somebody who handles my money, I'm organized, and I, I like to just pay attention to it. That's all. I mean, I handle my money as well. Like, you know, even if you were budgeting, oh, $100 for dinner, $150 for dinner, it's like you were writing down, like, the $29. I mean, it was just, oh. I can't be with somebody okay, well, who's that 
penny pinching. Uh, look, I just don't want to be surprised by the bill. I like to kind of keep things moment to moment, like just lined up. I don't think it and... was a surprise. Like the prices were listed. I mean, you it's, it's not like I ordered tuna, you know, tartare flown in from Japan. I mean, it was it was pretty <laughs> <Delicious>. standard. <laughs> look, okay, okay, um, look, I'm, look, I, I, I grant you that I, I'm like I'm detail oriented. Okay, I'm, I like to keep track of things, but. It just sounds like you're, you're not as concerned about money, and that's you, all right, that we're, we're different people. Okay, now all right? you're, now and, you're, like, critiquing me. I, I am very in check with my finances. This on a date made me uncomfortable. That's really it. Will, can you see how that would be uncomfortable for somebody when they are you're asking, like, hey, what are you thinking about ordering? And then as soon as they tell you, you're then jotting down the yeah. price. Like, can you see how that would make someone feel, I don't know if it's the word is self-conscious, but just very awkward. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess again, we have we have different philosophies about money, and I'm, I'm granting you they have a different philosophy. Again, I like to get stay in the moment. I can add, and in my it's just let's say let's say I was doing the same thing. I don't need to write it down in front of somebody else. I actually have a mental calculator, so. I'm I can't good. even imagine what it's like for you to go to Publix when you're throwing all those groceries in your car, <laughs> trying point. to add all that stuff. Good up. point. Yeah, I that would like be exhausting. I do have money. I'm not going to disclose what I have. No, no, no. That's uh, all we're radio. saying. <laughs> That's all we're saying. We're just saying adding it up in front of somebody that you just met on a first date is a very awkward thing. We're saying whatever you make and whatever your budget is at home, you don't then bring that to the dinner table when you're meeting someone for the first time. Does that make sense? I, I, I hear you. Well, uh, I'm going to just ask because I have to ask legally. No, not really. But uh, Christina, are you uh, willing to go on another date? I don't. I. I know it's a dumb question. I'm. You were a nice guy, but it's just like it seems like it would be a very stressful life, and I'd always be uncomfortable about money, and I just can't live like that. Okay. Well, Will, I don't think there's anything wrong with being responsible about finances at all. I totally understand that. I just don't think this was the appropriate time to start going over your finances. We at least got an answer for you. We got to the bottom of it. Um, I'm sorry it's not going to work out, but I do wish you luck. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. We, I guess we got to the bottom of it. Um, all right. Thank you, man. Yeah. Christina, thank you for your time. Yeah. All right, luck. guys.